Hi guys, I just wanted to jump on and give you a visual example of what I'm talking about with this shared header and footer hack. This has saved me so much time because in the past I was remaking my shared header and footer for every single funnel, but this isn't actually necessary. There's no button in ConvertTree that means you can pass across your shared header and footer, but this should sort you out no problem, it's a really quick hack. So for me, I have a funnel here called coupons and it has a shared header and footer in it that I really like. I spent some time on that footer. It's got all my right links on it. And to be honest, I don't want to set up another one for another funnel. It's tiring, but I can really easily pass this over. So what I'm going to do is go to the campaigns dashboard, click more on the coupons, um, on the coupons funnel itself and then select clone. So I'm going to call it coupons cloned just so I completely understand what I'm doing and now I have an exact clone including the header and footer that I really want to use elsewhere so what I'm going to do next is delete all of the pages in this cloned funnel don't worry these aren't going to affect the pages in the coupons funnel so all the live pages I had going with these they collect me quite good leads um, these are still going to be going and do it working as they should this is just a clone so we can delete because I don't need two of them I mean I might do if I wanted to but not in this instance so now I have an empty funnel and it has the shared header and footer in it so I'm going to go and find the page that was annoying me it's this one I really really want to apply the header and footer to that page but in this funnel I've not got any header and footers so what I'm going to do is go on the three dot menu on that, click more, move to, and I'm going to move it to my new funnel. Once it's done that, it'll automatically take us to the funnel, and then I'm going to click edit page. So I'm really close at this point. The page is in the funnel. All I have to do is enable the shared header, and voila, I've got the thing that I made before without having to recreate it and guess that it's exactly the same. It is exactly the same. So just check that they're both toggled on, which I believe that they are. There we go, choose to use header and choose to use footer. Already on. And you'll see that footer I was talking about with all of my info already there. So I can just republish my page. Oh, it's saved for me. And done, my page is live. It's got the footer on it. I didn't have to worry and I didn't have to check that it matched the last one. So that totally changed my life. I don't think I'm alone because I've had some emails. So let me know what hacks in ConvertTree have changed your life that look obvious, but actually took a bit of, bit of learning, which is my case with this one. All right, guys. See ya.